Is it possible to get a grasp on exactly what happened in Homs? It's very hard. However, from what we have gathered, it seems uh, the, these killings uh, were triggered by the founding of three bodies of pro-government supporters who were, whose bodies were mutilated. Uh, following that discovery, there were another six people who were killed, it seems apparently in retribution to those killings, from uh, different sects, Sunnis and Alawis. That was followed by uh, the militias that is pro-government, described as a Shabiha, went on the rampage in the city of Homs, burning some shops, uh, arresting, kill, uh, firing at people randomly. More people were killed. Now, what is interesting about this development is that it seemed most of the killings happened along sectarian lines bottom line between Sunnis and Alawis. And this is a very dangerous turning point, according both to the government, to the opposition, and the activists on the ground for the protesters. So what impact is it likely to have as the protests go on? Well, it depends what happens next. Today in Homs, the situation had been contained and its quiet shops were reopened uh, and tensions remain high, however. What's scary for the people is that the opposition is adamant that what's happening in Syria is not sectarian. It's a matter of people demanding their freedom and more democracy. They accuse the government of trying to instigate this sectarian strife in order to scare people, to make the people in front of a choice whether it's keeping this regime or that the alternative will be um, sectarian strife, sectarian fighting, and the loss of stability and security that Syrians very much hold dear to themselves and want. So it seems these kind of sectarian tensions will only scare people away and will make them reconsider how much they want the regime to fall and what is the alternative. Ruler, thanks very much indeed. That's Ruler, I mean, in Beirut.